is Hunter Reynolds from My Film Suite. I'm bringing you a really cool and easy tutorial on how to create some cool motion graphics using 2D animation. And that's what's really popular right now, and uh, you might see it in some of your favorite games like Dumb Ways to Die. It's a really unique art style, but basically we're going to create these crisp and sharp shadows going along with whatever animated text we have. It's all done in After Effects, and it's really easy and simple to do. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First thing we want to do is create a new composition. I'll just name it uh, Typography. Doesn't matter the time. So now, if we go to Layer, New, Solid, Control Y, we want to create our background. So just name it Background. So once we've done this, we can open the Solid Settings. And let's change it to a more playful color, like, like red maybe a darker red once we do this we're good now all we need is text so command T or just go to your text tool and uh, I'll type in my name if I can spell my name perfect let's align that as you see we're halfway done easy uh, I'm using Gil Sans Ultra some weird font okay first thing we want to do for this effect is you want to add a CC radial fast blur it's found in the effects and presets tab so now as you can see if we move this little note around it's almost a shining glowing effect and it looks really cool but what we're going to use it for is we're going to put it up in this corner bring the amount up to 100 you can already see it's starting to veer off as if it was a shadow all right next thing we want to do is we want to type in matt choker what this is going to do is it's going to get rid of the alpha channel, which is the transparency, because we want it to just be a solid white. You won't see anything, but that's because we have to turn down the softness on all of this, because we want it to be a sharp shadow, so it can't be soft. Now where it says choke, we want to take it from 75, let's try negative, all the way, negative 127. So now you're going to see that we have that solid, sharp shadow. You might be able to start seeing where this is going. If not, it's easy. Let's just add a fill because we don't want a white shadow. We want a black shadow. Maybe you want a red shadow, but we're going to use black for this case. Take the transparency, say to 30. Perfect. Final thing we need to do, actually, what we could do is we could duplicate this text. Of course, get rid of all the effects. And there we go. We have our shadow under our text. But that takes a little bit more work, and uh, it's going to be harder for editing purposes. So all we have to do, type in composite, take our CC composite, and put it on the bottom as well. What this is going to do is it's going to take everything that we've edited together, all these effects, and it's going to put that all together, but it's also going to preserve that original layer. And it's all going to be in the same layer. So now we see we have our actual text and everything else, all the shadows that we've done with it. And it's all in one, which is good. It's good for editing. So it's really cool if we go back to this fast motion blur, we can move the shadow around and it doesn't have to require any other editing on our part. So this is perfect. Uh, we have that shadow that we're looking for. All that I did is I added in a uh, text animation preset, which... If we go to animation presets and then under our text we can just find some uh, quick animation perfect so that's the animation we'd like so as you can see we have our really clean 2d shadow effect and it didn't take more than five minutes <laughs> one thing that I also like to do just to fine-tune so I always like to add a little vignette to the edges of our composition. So if we press Control Y to create a new solid, rename it Vignette, and make it black. If we go to this ellipse tool right here, if we double click, it's going to make an ellipse that's the size of that solid that we made. Already down here, under Add, let's change it to Subtract. So it's going to take everything out of that circle. Press F now. It's going to take that mask feather, if we feather it way up, and then take the scale, and scale it up real big, you're going to notice a very slight but subtle 
um, shadow effect on the outside and that could also look really good too. So this is the finish effect and it looks really nice. You can easily do this with different text objects, different images, and uh, get the exact same results. To give you an example, we could take all this, take these layers that we've created, go to the end, duplicate them, we can easily go and change the text to say Hoyavision. I'm assuming if you're watching this video you're in the class so we can easily change it and without any extra editing on our part we already have the shadows are configured for the new text we can change the background pretty easily too haven't used the yellow yet so why don't we try something perfect same thing if we go into the text get rid of that original and let's add a drop in by character we don't know how that's gonna look looks pretty good alright there we go thanks so much for watching I hope you guys learned something from this thanks a lot I'll see you later